so in oh this is not i was like okay how is zero selecting these scvs so in the bottom left we have our red canadian player it is gypsy and in the top right in the green we have koget now before well yesterday gypsy was asking me do you have any suggestions what to play on this map Honestly, this map is so off the wall, I didn't want to make a suggestion. I wanted, I wanted him to go with his own thoughts. And it looks like he's decided that 8 racks is the move. So this is going to be a lot of pressure coming at Koget. Now, to be fair, I, well, I'm not too sure how often Gypsy really 8 racks is. Just in general, whether it's TVZ or TVT. So he, I'm hoping, has watched at least a bunch of replays before this occurred because 8 racks, even though it sounds simple, it's not exactly the simplest build to play. Now, the big question here is, does Koget like delay his racks at all? Is he going to like 12-12? Is he going to potentially go for 14 CC? We're going to have to pay close attention to his screen. It looks like he's sending out a forward racks. Now, I've watched a video on this. And Light talks about how if you build a forward racks versus eight racks, this is just a build order win for you for the eight raxing player. Okay, it looks like Koget actually wants the scout. I'm not really sure where this SCV is going. If it is that forward racks, all oh, looks like it's it all, is. Nope, looks like it he might already scouting. be over. He's going for 14 CC, but he doesn't want to build it if there's a racks. And unfortunately, he sees the racks, and now his racks is massively late, and he can't kill that SCV. Okay, it's already done. Wow. Okay, now. I think Gypsy got off the first shot, but he's not going to commit to the battle. Instead, Koget has pulled off four SCVs. Let's see how much damage he can get done. Now, Gypsy has fantastic SCV in Marine Micro. However, that SCV is very low. Marine is going to have to be sent back. Oh, he almost loses that SCV. Both players are going to return. Oh, no. Wow. Koget might actually just kill his Marine. <gasps> very oh, good control. Like one SCV from Koet goes down, one Marine by Gypsy. Gypsy has one Marine and one SCV. SCV goes down and it's only the Marine left. But I think Koget will hold here. Okay, so Koget's going to hold, but he loses a lot for that. Now back on the others, or back on both players' side of the map, you can see that supplies are basically even. 17 out of 18 versus 16 out of 18. Slight economic lead for Koget, it seems. Ooh, Marine is taking a little bit more damage. Now, there are like two SCVs that are heavily damaged for Koget, so he's got to be careful not to lose them. Looks like Factory started slightly quicker for Gypsy, but because this is Blue Storm, this is not the biggest deal. Now, as I said, Gypsy has some of the best Marine and SCV control. You can see he stutter stepped right there, able to take out an SCV and kills the other Marine. This might be devastating damage for Koget because he's going to lose another SCV that's like three down. Now Gypsy has a supply lead. This Gypsy is crazy. Does, yeah, Gypsy does have an extra Marine there. Now we're tied two to two. I, when does Gypsy stop producing Marines here? Or does he just well, keep the pressure on? Usually with an eight racks, you just stop after three because if you build more than three, you usually get supply blocked. And we see that he's now stopped building Marines and he's just gonna float it into the main. He's gonna see exactly what Koget is doing. Now behind this, why does Gypsy have so little money? Is this a two fact? Oh, it's a command center follow-up. I couldn't see it on the mini map. So he's got a much faster command center and we see that Koget is going for Starport. Koget manages to get that scout in though. He sees Gypsy did expand behind this, not going for some kind of uh, follow-up more aggressive follow up than this and the racks from Gypsy also sees Koget trying to take an expansion but sees nothing is quite down there so this might give him uh, a sense that something's off with Koget's build maybe he's doing something else well this is one of the dangers of not playing eight racks often okay well first off we're gonna have a mid of battle oh Gypsy got off the first shot so he should kill this vulture and there's no way that Koget can escape he can only rely on high ground to potentially save them that is going to be a oh you got a fire it's going to be a big loss for Koget because now he might be scrambling to build another Vulture. However, you can see put on the add-on, this is uh, a Blue Storm where it takes a long time for Vultures to get across the map. Now Wraith is coming in and this is where experience might come into favor for Koget because you can see Gypsy still just playing Vulture style. I'm not too sure how strong Mass Vulture is on this particular map. 
However, as we've mentioned, this map is very punishing if you if you can get into that gully and tank Wraith. Ooh, wow, the Marines did so much damage without even getting shot. But anyways, tank Wraith is very powerful if you can get into that particular spot. For a moment there, I actually thought that was a little bit scary for Koge, but the Marines got so much damage on one of the Vultures and the other was already very low health that uh, Gypsy can't really put on any more pressure there. Yeah, we do see Goliath or Armory coming in. Now, having three factories is amazing, but as I said, Tank Wraith, once it gets into position, extremely punishing. And of course, with it being Blue Storm, it takes a very long time to move your units from your natural all the way to the top side of the map, back down to the bottom side of the map, and actually try and engage into that position. So we'll see if Koget can set up a massive contain before Gypsy can get some sizable amount of vultures and with mines out on the map. Now the Wraith is being a little bit of annoying, but some of the worst DPS in the game to ground is the Wraith, so I don't really expect that to do much damage. Second Wraith coming out, I didn't see Cloak being upgraded though, and he's not mining gas at his natural, but you can see he has a little bit of gas built up, but he really needs to get that gas going, otherwise it's going to be hard to support you know, a lot of factories and Wraiths. Uh, Gypsy <clears throat> now switching into Goliaths to deal with these Wraiths, but Goliaths not a great unit on this map. And there we go. Wraith goes down. That's actually pretty bad because he is investing in more Wraiths. And he, I did see he just got Cloak uh, started. Yeah. You guys got to remember that every Wraith could have been a tank. I mean, Wraiths are good, but if I got to pick a unit I want, I want the tank. So um, you definitely need to save the Wraith if you're going to go Wraith. Like, you can't just build one of them. Their DPS is horrible. You've got to get a lot of them. So you cannot afford to lose any amount of race now mines are already set up i didn't see an academy built anywhere we see four factories going up for Kogut. now as i mentioned if you're going to build a lot of tanks and a lot of race you got to get your nat gas up and running so Kogut's a little behind in that sense but he's not gas starved at least just yet meanwhile i don't know if he suspects that mines were set up here because he never saw the vultures move into position okay now he's going to confirm yeah, he's clicking on those vultures to see if they have any mines left. He should suspect that they're out on the map. Yeah, so he is just going to play passive. But this is going to give Gypsy breathing room. And that might allow Gypsy to get into position to siege that natural. Now another Wraith coming in to the Nat. Quite annoying, but again, the DPS is so low. He may even be able to... Wow, is Gypsy going to try and bust with this small Goliath vulture account? No, there's no way he would attack into a bunker like that. He might just be setting up. Okay, he is going to siege from that gully, like I said, but he needs to be careful because it's only one tank. And Koget is going to have vision himself with the Wraith. Yeah, and <clears throat> Gypsy is way out on the map, and this tank is only... It's unsupported currently. And there we have the Wraith with Cloak now, and this is going to be very annoying. The Wraith can just run away. There's one Cloak that Gypsy doesn't have. He's down to one Cloak now. I mean, one scan for these cold wraiths, it's going to be hard for him to continue putting on pressure if he doesn't have detection. Yep, tank is getting into position with that barracks. Also, two more tanks are moving across the map. He doesn't want to show that the tanks are here. He needs to move those Goliaths over there also to clear out the wraith. If he can clear out the wraith, Koget is in big time trouble because that barracks is all the way across the map. Oh, it is so important that he kills these wraiths. Oh, it's important that Koget does not lose these wraiths. And now he sees the gig is up that three tanks are already in position. Now, does Koget have Siege? I mean, he can have as many tanks as it doesn't look like he will. Actually, he has a lot of vultures. And this might be a misstep big time from Koget. Now, even though this Wraith is annoying attacking the, the tank, you can easily send SCVs across the map and repair it. So I'm not too worried about this particular Wraith. But I am worried that he's going to lose a single tank to one Wraith. He's very limited in the amount of scouts. There we have the cult running out. So, I mean, that's the only thing that's holding Gypsy back right now. He's being annoyed by his Wraith. Six kills on his Wraiths, all SCVs. And here we have the three tanks setting up. Tons of speed vultures moving out for Koge. He does have scan, but oh, these... Okay. okay, high ground for Gypsy here. He might get a good engagement here with the vultures from Koge on the low ground. It doesn't look like Gypsy's focus firing. Now he is, but he's going to trade so effectively because half of these vultures are not registering hits for Koget. And now a lot of his units are attacking mines 
really not getting any hits. Koget has given up his natural for now. He's going to try and move on to the high ground. Gypsy doesn't realize it just yet now. Okay, that's Koget scanning. But he's going to set up tanks on the low, more tanks on the low ground. And Gypsy might flat out just have too much stuff right now. Three tanks on the high ground is going to be very good for Koget, though. Cannot let any of these mines connect. Gypsy doing a really good job with focus firing, but now he's out of vision. Oh, bit of a misstep there from Koget moving forward with these Ooh. tanks. Loses two of them. Looks like he's going to lose all three. Oh, he lost all three. And look how much gas Koget is floating. He's got 1,200 gas. He has a ton of vultures, though. But it's Tank Goliath in the center of the map now that's already set up for Gypsy. I don't think Koget can really overrun this position. Maybe... Oh, it looks like he's just doing a run by, but Gypsy has more units coming up. You can see he's expanding behind it too. And even if Koget cuts off reinforcements for now, his natural has not been mining for so long. Yeah, things falling apart for Koget here. He has very few tanks. Oh, there it is. Uh, oh, we are ready. Let's get into this game. So in the mid left position, our red Terran player, our, our blue Terran player, He's up 1-0. It is Gypsy. And in the top right, in the red, our other Terran player, it is Koget. Now, supplies have gotten a little bit too high for an 8-rack, so we're not going to see either player go for that. I am a little bit surprised at this pick, because really, you do 8-racks this map probably as much as Blue Storm. And... I'm curious if Koget's going to open with 14 Command Center again. I actually think he will. So we'll see if that's going to be the build order choice. That would be pretty bold because Gypsy had a read on what Koget was up to. It definitely looked like Koget wanted to go 14 Command Center, but he did at least ensure that he could defend against some kind of Arax by scouting that early. It looks like Gypsy, did he send out an SCV already? Yeah, this is going to be a forward Rax, a slightly forward Rax. So he is intending to put a little bit of pressure meanwhile we see that koget is building a racks himself this could be gasless expand like i said my experience versus koget big time macro player wouldn't be surprised if we see the command center go down no gas meanwhile yeah. back in gypsy's side gas did go down and koget slightly later gas but still going for yeah, so both players go for the 12 gas here faster scout for Gypsy though, so his Econ is gonna be hurt a little bit more. I'm wondering if he was also suspecting that this was gonna be Gapsus or 14cc, and he wants to scout fast and have the potential to go for something like a proxy factory. Usually you don't scout this fast as Terran. Usually you do send out a similar time to scout as Koget because it kinda allows you to build the factory, build the depot, build the Marine, build the SCB without cutting anything. Now Gypsy's going to have to cut something if he wants to get up a uh, matching factory timing. You can see both players are approaching 100 gas. Factory's going to go down slightly faster for Gypsy though. Well, I think it is. He's got to build it. Oh, there we go. Yep, there it is at the top. Now, curious if either... Ooh. Okay, Gypsy pulls off of gas now. I was like, whoa, we've got Gypsy actually continuing to mine gas in his main. Meanwhile, Koget has pulled completely off. Okay, so that was Gypsy just microing the SCV, running it away from the Marine, but he does pull off gas, and now we have only one Marine from both players so far. They did get the early scout, so no extra Marines here, and Gypsy's barracks already floating across the map, heading towards Koget's base. Yep, he's gonna have a better scout timing, and Koget hasn't even lifted his racks yet. However, He's not building any Marines, so I'm not too sure what this move is. He's going to get the SCV taken out also. Nicely done from Gypsy there. Meanwhile, his command center is going to be maybe about five to six seconds slower. He may have to build a bunker, though, since he only built one Marine. That's generally, you know, the safe move here. Meanwhile, actually, Koget also has one Marine. There we go. One vulture. Let's see how many vultures get made before the add-on. Gypsy does, like you said, he's going to have a way faster scout, so he's going to see what Koget is doing, and that will influence what he decides to do with his opener. Yep, we see that both players are at max supply right now, so that means both players have built two vultures. 
Meanwhile, we have not gotten a confirmation on what the follow-up is going to be. That is a second factory, I think, for Kogat at the front. Meanwhile, Gypsy building a third Vulture, so we finally have the first deviation. Add on going down. Now, I saw one Vulture come out, and I thought Kogat had two, but maybe I'm wrong. Okay, yeah, he doesn't have two. So, we haven't seen Factory Flood from either player. Just now, that was another Factory for Kogut. So, he's going to go for three Factory. That's typical. Gypsy also likes to go for the three Factory follow -up, So, I'm sure that will happen at some point pretty soon. Kogut now transferring SCVs. You can see that he's got a slightly faster Econ advantage right now. Third Vulture is going to sync up pretty soon. I don't know if Kogut knows that there's three Vultures here. You see that two SCVs are in position. He's going to try and focus. Oh, instant reaction from Kogut to repair. Nicely done. That was clutch because Vulture versus Vulture fights can snowball very quickly. And just having the repair instantly allowed uh, Kogut to save that Vulture. Yep, that was a really nicely done move from Kogut. Meanwhile, Gypsy canceled something. I don't know if it was an armory or probably the armory. After he saw the third Vulture, he's like, nah, you're not going Wraith anymore. So he's just going to match Vulture with Vulture. Now the real uh, issue for both of these players now is when to switch to tank. You don't want to build way too many Vultures. And then the other guy has, you know, like five tanks and you just literally get A moved across the map. You don't want that to happen. But at the same time, you don't want to skimp on Vultures because then Vultures will just kill you. So it's going to be really hard to gauge for both players. Of course, nobody wants to get Supply Block either. It looks like Vulture Speed has kicked in for Kogut. You can see that Vulture Count is identical right now. There's a one Vulture, two Vulture lead right now for Gypsy. So Kogut's got to be careful. He pokes in, evaluates that, hey, that is eight Vultures. Can't engage that. Meanwhile, Rax was in a position to go for a wall. I'm not sure if that's actually a complete wall, though. That's something that I totally forgot about on Blue Storm or on Town Cross. Yeah, I don't think you can use the barracks to make a complete wall there. You could probably make a depot there, but no way to get the SCV across the map. And here we go. We're four factories, four gypsies, four factories, four Koget. Koget will have the faster vulture upgrades because he went for two vultures then add on. And but it looks like gypsy speed is about to finish here as well. Yeah, but vulture um Koget has five factories, I think I counted that correctly. Meanwhile, Gypsy only at four yeah five factories for Koget. so he's got a faster factory count you can see he's even ramping up in terms of supply he's got what, like a almost 10 supply lead starport coming in now if gypsy's gonna go for starport he needs to not be in the center of the map like this because he's never going to be able to match the vulture count he needs to be in a position where he can have arc advantage he can have concave advantage we can see that more and more vultures are coming out gypsy's still down a little bit in supply but this one single wraith could turn the tides because still Kogut doesn't know what this is he should suspect something's up simply because there's only four factories but he doesn't know exactly just yet yeah it's very important for both players here to not miss any depots because in vulture versus vulture fights missing one depot you miss out on a cycle of vultures and you instantly lose the game yeah it's true you will wow that is so many vultures first tank comes out i didn't see mine upgrade for koget just yet so no mine explosion should change the tides of any fight okay now mines have completed there's gonna be a massive minefield set up i would be shocked if koget moves in here but he's gonna try and set a mine up and try and blow up that tank but instead he kind of just a moved into it and bled off a ton of vultures luckily for him i didn't see an academy in gypsy's main so comp set is not going to be oh Okay, Comsat is going to be sometime uh, relatively quickly. Meanwhile, Kogit does know that, hey, you must be going Wraith, because why do you have only four factories? His armor is already almost done. But Gypsy still is going to have the ability to set up potentially a tank drop on the ledge. I'm not sure if he re remembers that this is a, a potential option on Tau Cross. We don't see the add-on just yet. But triple add-on coming onto those factories for Kogit. Yeah, Gypsy... That tank is actually key, especially having it there at the front, because uh, you never want your vultures shooting other enemy tanks. You want them to shoot vultures. They do way more damage against vultures than they do tanks. And Gypsy smartly positioned that tank at the front, and with the concave, it was just an easy defense there for him. Meanwhile, 
first couple Goliaths are out, and Kogut is going to get out onto the map. This scan timing is going to be great, or it's going to be at a good time for Gypsy. He's going to be able to clear the mines before Kogut can get into position to contain. You can see Kogut is sending units across the map because, of course, he doesn't know that Gypsy has vision just yet, so he wants to set up the contain if he can. Meanwhile, Gypsy has a sizable tank advantage. I think it's 4-2 to two right now. Vulture's going to try and buy time, but I don't think this is going to work. Gypsy has way too many tanks. He even has five tanks. He needs to scan again, though. He needs to scan again. He's getting dangerously close. Oh, no, go get it. Move commanded his tank. One, One mine does go off. Two Ooh, mines go good. off and kills a ton of vultures. Tanks are in position, so at least Gypsy won't get contained here. But that was yeah, that a was... key mine engagement thing. Yeah, that was okay trades for both players. I mean, when I saw the first tank go down, no. Okay, almost loses another tank. You got to be so careful moving. Oh, he actually lost a couple more tanks. So Gypsy now lost way more tanks than Koget. Meanwhile, we can see triple add-on going down. Now, the starport has an add-on on it. Not sure if that's going to be for drops or what, but you can see that Gypsy is starting to take his third base. And for now, Koget cannot deny this. It doesn't look like Gypsy has any intentions of attacking right now. He just wants to ramp up his econ. He may be setting up for a doom drop onto that ledge. I don't know. Oh, there is a drop ship. Let's see what he wants to do with this. A lot of times you just see drop ship for a vulture drop. I am curious if he will load up tanks here. Looks like Koget with the three add-ons, he is building up substantial tank force now. He was faster to make those add-ons than Gypsy, but of course Gypsy had the larger tank count to start the game. And they're both taking a third, so they're working on equal factory counts. Gypsy does have an additional building. It is that starport. And it's going to be hard for Koget to advance out on the map. He is taking his own third, but uh, I'm not really sure how he uh, moves on from here. And it looks like you are right. It is a vulture drop, at least to start off. Three vultures get in. Yeah, vulture drop is going to kill a couple SCVs. The Sim City is kind of wonky for the vultures to get in. However, a lot of SCVs are going to be pulled. A single Goliath going to try and save the day. Yeah, okay, the SCV drill was really good. Limited the amount of damage that the vultures did. However, you see that it did disrupt a lot of the mining. Koget instantly puts three back onto gas, so that's a key a key thing for him. Meanwhile, Koget's tank count, as you mentioned, is really, really high. But a lot of vultures are out on the map for Gypsy right now. I think those are Koget's mines right there, so he sees that vultures are moving out. Meanwhile, Armory did complete for Gypsy, so he's going to start getting his upgrades coming in pretty quickly. Command Center is done for Koget, so basically three base versus three base. We saw in the main of Koget that the Rax was building, so he's not going to be able to go up into that super high factory count. Okay, he now completed it, so now he can start putting down even more factories. I don't see any more being built for Gypsy just yet. Another drop going into the main. It's not going to have any success this time. I am a little bit concerned for Koget. If Gypsy builds up a, a large enough tank uh, fleet that he can... Okay, looks like the dropship is going to that. Does this have actually tanks? And it does. This is going to be hard for Koget to kill off if the tank number grows. One tank, you could probably deal with it with three. You just siege on the low ground and snipe it. But if this dropship fleet from Gypsy grows and Koget doesn't take position outside of his natural, like Gypsy can walk to this position, reinforce Ooh. it, and it's going to be hard for him, for Koget to eventually break this. But it looks like it's just one tank for now, and Koget is prepared here. Yeah, that he oh, okay. Gypsy might actually kill one tank for one tank. That's not so bad, and that buys time for Gypsy to move across the map. That was his move. He wants to draw all of the units of Koget out of position, and meanwhile get into position on the bottom side of the map to try and take down that third base. Meanwhile, you saw Koget's camera move there, so he sees it coming. But Gypsy, I think he has a little bit too many tanks. For, okay, never mind. Koget's going to be set up completely, and this is going to be denied. However, this is still an okay position for Gypsy because he doesn't necessarily have to attack. He can just take control of this position of the map and start thinking about taking bottom middle. That's exactly what he's doing. And because this is a three-player map, you can't afford to give up round like this as Koget. You will just starve out. Like, if we think about what our potential base is Koget can take now, mineral only at bottom right and mineral only at top middle. I mean, those are not bases that Terran wants to take. They want the gas bases. 
Yeah, and this is uh, gonna be awkward for Koget because he can't really get any more gas bases. Very linear in map in terms of gas bases, and Gypsy has control of both bridges. What was that? A cancel on a, an armory, I guess? I'm not really sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm not too sure what that was, but we have more dropships coming out. Okay, Koget found a vulnerable position. He's gonna siege up, but Gypsy was already moving into position two. Focus firing down the tanks is Koget. But there's, it might just be way too much Gypsy. Well, maybe not. Koget has a little bit too many tanks. But for now, this was a key move for Koget. Also, oh wow, Gypsy's holy moly, that is a lot of tanks. And he's probably going to bust this because he has some leftover vultures. He needs to clear this out. Does Koget? Now Gypsy's just going to siege. And you can see that I have mine connected at the bottom. Both players need to focus fire the tanks. Koget gets a nice... Oh my god, Koget's gonna overwhelm this army because Gypsy didn't have any vultures to reinforce. Yeah, pure tank reinforcements, no support, and Koget cleans this up easily, and now he has access to the bottom side of the map. Look at the supply, a 30 supply swing in favor of Koget now. Gypsy scrambling to get tanks into position. Now, he did have double starboard, and if you look here, there's almost no anti-air for Koget. The only Goliath went down, both players are desperately trying to get rid of that tank line. Oh, looks like, oh my gosh, Koget got the final shot off onto that tank before it could fire. Multiple tanks may have fallen there if Gypsy was able to connect. You can see that Koget has plus one weapon. I think me, or Gypsy, or I think Gypsy also has plus, wow. He's going for a doom drop, I can't believe it. But this might be a, a fantastic move because Gypsy knows that all the units are out of position here. He has four dropships, is that it? Yeah, that's so. four dropships, that's eight supply, that's not army. And if we look at the supply difference, Koga has a big advantage. I wonder what Koget's factory count is, because he was able to produce a lot more than Gypsy here. And again, Vulture's here trading four tanks. Really what matters here is the tank count. Who has more tanks? And it seems like Koget is winning in that regard. But if Gypsy can pull off a clutch doom drop on that natural high ground or in the main near those factories, this game could flip. Yeah, and it's, it looks like Koget still is not aware of bottom left being taken. Uh, so for now, Gypsy is going to have four gas versus four gas, or four gas versus three gas. Now supplies are getting much closer. You can see that two race are moving across the map. Again, I think this is simply to move units out of position so Gypsy can go for that doom drop. I'm not sure if Koget has scanned the drops. And even though Koget has a lot of factories, if you look at how they're placed, it's going to be hard for him to move units into position to defend a drop. So if Gypsy is able to get these drop ships through, I think this will be a game ending move for him. He's got six drop ships now. These two raids are being super annoying. Yeah, killing off turrets and SCVs before they can get built. And really, this is distracting Koget from what the real plan is. Looks like Gypsy's drop ships are just idling there at the natural for now he wants to get a significant enough number of them before he decides to execute what i would think would be the, the june drop looks like positioning here to cancel koget's fourth and this is awkward map for taking bases because the fourth gas is so far away for both players yeah and i'm, I'm still waiting for that drop i see some movement at the top side of the map what is that is that gypsy's drop ships going through it's going to be just vultures trying to clear out these tanks gypsy all over the place he has so many so much stuff at the top at the bottom but he's also able to clear out the top side tanks and koga's probably thinking like oh well that's not even a, that big of attack okay we've got a massive attack at the bottom so many tanks set up for gypsy does he have plus two I'm, i don't know if he does Oh, he doesn't have plus two. Oh, Koget's hitting right before plus two kicks in. But I don't think Koget can actually push through. Koget's supply has plummeted. And at the top side, those vultures, even though they don't have high DPS, eventually those turrets will fall. And if dropships were to move there, as I stated before, probably ends the game. But instead, Gypsy is moving to the bottom side of the map. Yeah, even though Koget did gain some ground there, he actually lost that fight at least in terms of cost efficiency he really wants to clear up this area so he can deny gypsy's fourth and also take his own but gypsy's well defended here looks like he has a tank sieged up koget's moving in dropships coming into support and looks like gypsy is going to hold this easily 
Yeah, he, he was using the drops for a, de a defensive maneuver instead of going for the aggressive maneuver. How? Oh my god, all those vultures that I thought were going to lay mines. None of them get any connections. And Koget just taps out. 